Hello, this will be a bit of an advanced video on how to increase the FPS in X Defiant game beyond the available settings. It also reduces the FPS stutters, as you can see here in this side-by-side -side gameplay before and after the modifications. Left side being the after and right side being before the changes. The average and 1% lows, by the way, here are not running properly, so ignore those and just pay attention to the live FPS counter in front of the D3D11. Now to do these changes, we go to our desktop here, then we open this PC. In this PC, we open our C drive. In C drive, we locate the folder called Users. In the Users folder, we're gonna locate and open the Documents folder. And in the Documents folder, we will need to find My Games folder. In the My Games folder, we will locate XDefiant. In the XDefiant, we're going to edit this file right here with the text editor. And we're going to make the following changes. These changes I will be making gave me the best results. But feel free to play around with these settings until you find the ones that work best for you. But here are the ones that I recommend changing and give a lot of um, FPS advantage. So, the fog, uh, we'll set it to zero. Bloom also falls, like I did before. And I'll scroll a bit down. These, I will leave, I will leave like this, but for the parallax mapping, I will put it to false. Reflections to zero. Scroll a bit down until I find the shadow distance. I'll set it to 200. Some of these settings can be changed in the in-game settings, but a bunch of them can only be changed from here. Like the sharpening, we don't need to change it here. Then for the TAA and aliasing, I'll set it to zero. If you encounter a lot of jagged edges, you can uh, set it higher if you want, but it consumes video memory. So now for this one, I'll set it to false and this should be it. Once we're done, we save our file, we close it and then we launch our game. So I hope this helps you and peace out.